We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a... I was going to say we're going to be having a quick look at uh, something, uh, but this will probably just end up being a normal review. Uh, a long time ago, uh, God, three, four years ago maybe, uh, there was an RDA called The Nipple and it was by a company called uh, The Juice Traveller or TJT. And, and I had one and, and I did enjoy it. It didn't suit my vaping style at that moment in time. Uh, but it was it was very popular. It was very popular. And uh, it was very popular with uh, a lot of the mouth to lung guys as well. But I thought the company was gone. I, I, I didn't think they were about anymore. So when I was in Hamburg, who was there at the Hall of Vape. So the the guys gave me their new RDA, the Nostrum. So it, it was a gift. I wasn't asked to review this or anything like that, uh, but I've been playing with it. So I thought the least I can do is rather than it just not, just showing you it in vlogs and things like that, I would do a quick up close video and, and let you know how I've been getting on with it. So. If you're interested in one, I think they will be going out to resellers uh, online before long. But if you look for uh, the Juice Traveller or TJT Facebook group, I should have the full name along the bottom here. Go and look for that and you can get more information on the RD. If I miss anything, if you have one, if you have a differing opinion to what I'm going to give here, please feel free to comment in the video below. Let people know what build works for you, what coils work for you, because my opinions, as always, it's just my opinion. It doesn't mean it's gospel or it's absolutely right. It's just my take on something. Anyway, close-ups. Now, this was what I was given uh, when I met the guys. Uh, it came in this little Hessian sack with Nostrum on it. One 22mm RDA uh, stroke RDT almost. Uh, we have a little baggie with uh, uh, we've got a standard 510 pin here. Uh, we'll come back to that. Spare O-rings and a couple of little post screws there also. They did give me this uh, fancy screwdriver uh, as well because uh, yeah, the, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the head in this. I'm not sure of the exact size. Is it actually written on it? No, it's not. Uh, but it, it's tiny. You, you really do need a very, very small flathead screwdriver for this device. Now this is about 19 millimeters in height. It's 22 millimeters in diameter. Uh, my one came with this big chunky stainless steel drip tip here. Uh, we have adjustable airflow control up the top. Uh, down the bottom, we have a Nostrum. We have a serial number. Uh, you can see there's a tiny, tiny little screw in there. So right now, this is, is not for squonking. Um, but what you can do is you can take out that little screw and there is a locating place for it inside the deck. Uh, it's tiny. It's very, very small. Uh, it may be easier for you. Depends um, Depends what you're, if you've got fat fingers like me, then uh, it's probably easier just taking out uh, this 510 pin and chucking it in rather than messing about with this little screw here. The O-ring that's on here, I have to be honest, this O-ring is it was not the best. Uh, it's not the best. There's not a lot of, you can see there, this is bone dry as well. Not a lot of resistance. I have uh, tried uh, a brand new one as well, which was uh, a bit better. But um, yeah, I just the, the O-ring isn't that great, I'm afraid. The 510 pin does protrude here, so you're okay. Uh, you can see that we have, we have a postless deck. So you have screw here, screw here. Uh, your coil is going to be sitting going this direction. I'll show you in a second. I'll put a coil in it But you can see you have two holes here and here So there is actually a well beneath here if you want to you can and, and I suppose I should show you this I can and show you this I'll, I'll just unscrew this and uh, we'll, we'll have a look inside this device So I've unscrewed the screw, but I've just pushed it back up because I found this to be easier uh, You can see that it's actually lifted out the whole deck here and I should be able to just pull that out like so and take this pin out. You can see we've got a, a little squonky hole inside there. So when you squonk, it's actually going to fill this area in here. I better be careful, that O-ring just came out on my finger there. That's supposed to live in there like so. There we go. 
and here's the base and uh, the positive post also comes out also this one here that will come out but I'm just going to leave it in there just now uh, putting this back together it's pretty straightforward you don't have to yeah you can see here when you're tightening everything back up just make sure that your screw is located like that Ah, the top cap uh, we have this is a chunky top cap this uh, the whole thing's kind of chunky uh, you can see we have four air holes here I'll take this off and you can see how this is working pop that back on now obviously you can just spin this round and adjust the airflow uh, the one thing I will well I'll show you how this goes on once we get a coil inside it's kind of important how you put this on I, I will say right now that this is for me this is a direct lung it just doesn't work I don't think it works very well as a restricted direct lung and it's definitely not a mouth to lung uh, this uh, works far far better when you're you're giving it some beans shall we say um, also I will say that it's kind of almost like a mat it's almost like it wasn't polished enough um, I'm not sure if you can see you can almost see the hazing on this I mean I've tried just taking a polishing cloth over it and just I think the finishing could have been a bit better on this but we'll pop a coil in here and, and once again you're using this tiny little thing here we're just there's a postless deck so I'm just going to go in here and undo these screws I will also take this tiny little screw out the base here because I will be squonking with this uh, there's no reason why you can't drip with this um, however you've got that well in the bottom and I don't know if it holds a mill or, or a mill and a half of juice something like that now obviously when uh, I'm screwing this in uh, I'm blocking off the hole that I would I would use to fill this uh, if you were going to use it as an RDTA so just pointing that out doesn't really mean anything but there we go so this is what it'll be like for when I'm squonking now I'm using a, a PC coil here and it's that's the spec that I'm using uh, I would suggest that uh, this is the kind of spec you're like 0 0.3 uh, I found a 0 0.4 unless I was given it a lot of power didn't really work and uh, simple round wire builds in my opinion don't work well that great in this thing uh, but you know you can see that the coil is quite low down to the deck there that's really where it needs to be as low down as you can get without shorting it off the base I'll just tighten these off now now you can see here where the coil is now obviously I've lined the coil up so it's facing uh, where have they gone there we go we've got these little wick holes here I've cut the cotton off at a 45 degree angle and I'm just going to take the tails of my my cotton and just pass it down into this hole uh, I'm not choking this wick hole off it's it's not massive shall we say uh, but you can see how that is sitting like that there I've just got the tails in there and no more uh, being completely honest I, I don't use it like you would say a, a normal RDTA I just squonk the bejesus out of this and uh, I'm actually probably flipping the deck when I'm doing it I mean it's it is kind of nice that there is a reservoir in there uh, but uh, it's just I would just consider it more than an, it's not really an RDTA I would just consider this uh, an enclosed uh, deck uh, it's a deep deck but it's enclosed yes I would say that rather than it being a, an RDTA so I'm just squonking away here and yeah I can see that there's, there's just starting to come out every orifice on the go here so that means that I'm filled up at the bottom and I can see that it's starting to wick away here already now when you're putting this top cap on it is kind of important you can see where my coil is lined up there just now you want your top cap to go on like this not like that like this that way you're getting the air from both these coming down onto the coil and not just hitting the wick at the side so that's going to sit on there like that line this up now obviously you can you know adjust this and you can restrict the airflow if you want uh, I'll come back to that and I'll talk about it more at the end put my drip tip on and that's me I'm Bill uh, and I think we shall just go for a vape now so here's the thing this is a 22 mil RDA it's it's it looks like a classic 22 mil RDA postless you know you're just going to I'm just going to slam in my usual build as I do in all my other 22 mil RDAs and I'll just vape it the same way I usually do no 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 it's it's not that kind of RDA it really isn't 
when I first got it, I was putting in my 0 0.4 ohm simple round wire build. Uh, I was trying to vape it at 25 watts. I was turning the airflow down and it just was, for a starter, I wasn't lining up the air holes properly. So it was, I was getting a harsh hit. My coil was too high and the flavor was just dead, muted, nothing. I tried a few more builds and I just was having no success. But the problem was I was building it the way I thought it should be built in my head. I contacted the guys and uh, and I said sorry and I said thank you for sending this on but um, I was having no success and, and I just I wasn't a fan. Which is what you should always do. Contact the mod maker first. If you have an issue with something, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're a reviewer with 200,000 subscribers or if you're just some old guy in a shed in Scotland. If you're having an issue with something, contact the mod maker, speak to them, and they'll help you out as best they can. Um, so I was advised to put in a bigger, beefier coil and to give it some power um, which, and make sure that the coil was down low. So I've got a 0 0.35 ohm build in here. I've had a 0 0.3 as well, and that worked great. The airflow is fully open and you'll hear how open there's a lot of air. There is a lot of air goes through this and I'm at, um, what will I go with? I'll go with 40 watts, 40 watts for me. Uh, on a 22mm 20, RDA is unheard of. Very good. The flavor's excellent. The flavor like that, you know, giving it some beans uh, is, is tremendous. But be careful. Uh, I know there's something that the cool kids do, which is purge. Uh, don't purge with this because uh, because of where the air holes are, you'll just get hot vapor all over your lips and face. Uh, trust me on that one. Uh, so be very careful that you don't blow into this by mistake. Um, I do find that when I turn the airflow down, it's gonna be, it's gonna be brutally honest here. When I turn the airflow down, even with this, um, to a restricted, it's still not. There we go. We're more restricted now. I'm going to take the wattage down to. I'll go down to 35, and it's the flavour starting to tail off. It's just tailing off. Um, and, and, and this is the crux of it, this is the thing. Um, when I see a 22mm RDA with that kind of deck and, and everything, I just assumed it was to be built a certain way and vaped a certain way. Now there are probably or possibly people out there that have this that are vaping it a certain way and maybe getting great results, but I am not and, and that's all I can say to you is I, I can just, tell you how I, I have been getting on with something. Um, and for me, unless you are giving this some power, and, and 40 watts for me is a lot of power, and say a 0 0.3 ohm coil, 0 0.35 ohm coil, fully open, I believe that you will struggle with flavor compared to some other 22 mil RDAs. Um, and that's it. The, the RDTA thing, uh, because you've got that just well underneath, it's enclosed, it, it's not an RDTA, just think of it as a, an enclosed well that you're going to put your cotton down through there. When you're squonking with it, I wouldn't rely too heavily on thinking there's that juice capacity underneath the deck and it's going to wick up great. If you're using a heavy VG, it doesn't really wick that great. Maybe with 50-50, but with a heavy VG, no. You just keep squonking, keep squonking. Um, the O-rings, not so great on mine. I wish the polishing was a, it was a bit more polished. It just seems to be almost like matte, the finish on it. Maybe it's supposed to be, but for me, it's it just, it doesn't look like it was finished properly. Sorry, that's just my take on it. Uh, the way it's manufactured, I mean, the deck uh, and everything about it, I have no issues with that. The machining looks really nice on it. The drip tip and everything, bang on. Uh, it's just caught me off guard. I was wrong. I'll just, I'll leave it at that. 
my initial impressions of this RDA were completely wrong and I was treating it the wrong way. I stuck with it, I got advice from the mod maker, I'm now building it the way it's supposed to be built and the way it's supposed to be used. I was told that it could go restricted direct lung, uh, but for me it just doesn't work that great restricted direct lung. Uh, not unless you keep the power up um, and, and I just don't think it suits it that great. It's too warm. I don't like a, a really, I, I, I like restricted direct lung, uh, but I don't like it at that power because it's just too hot and doesn't work for me. I, I'm just a miserable old shite. I mean, that's it, let's face it. Um, I'm so happy that these guys are still going. I really am. And in fact, I should say, they gave me a baby nipple to take away with as well. Uh, I, I should have shown you this in the close-ups. But for those of you that don't remember, this is this is the baby nipple. Um, so the nipple from a few years back was like just a 22 mil version of this. Uh, so I'll, I've not put a coil in this or played with it yet, but I will do it at some point. So, so thank you both for giving this to me. Uh, I don't think the screwdriver actually comes with it. I did get the screwdriver. They did give me that, but I don't think so. Um, there we go. The Nostrum by TJT. Uh, it, it's nice to see these guys in the go and whilst it's... I'm not bullshitting you. As much as it's not for me and I'm not a fan of the RDA, um, there's no taking away the fact that it is made well and the flavour from it, if you're giving it beans, lots of power and a big beefy coil, is very, very good. And I'll stop at that. Thank you for watching, as always, and until next time, bye for now.